So uh, we're at um, what's it called Nor Northumberland Provincial Park of the south shore of P Prince Edward Island. Anyways, we got this kind of neat site. It's meant to be a walk-on site. Um, you can see the trailer behind us. Uh, we asked permission to walk it around to the walk-on sites. I'll explain that a little bit better in a minute, but I thought it'd be a good time to review the trailer. So, it's pretty much just a clamshell. So, the inside, it's very similar to like rooftop tents that you can buy nowadays, except this one was built back in 1990 by, uh, I'll show on the side here, the company was called High and Dry Camping, General Delivery. It was in Breslau, Ontario, which is only about an hour away from where we live in London. So kind of neat. Um, it's basically all wood construction. Inside the frame here, it's all it's all wood. Kind of see under here. It's all been repainted now. Um, repainted it with trim clad and rocker guard, and tried to protect it as best as we can. Uh, we also gave it a new axle, the hubs, the bolt pattern, everything was metric. We didn't want to deal with that, so we bought a North American standard axle. Um, we also changed it to a 5 bolt instead of a 4 bolt, which it used to have. And it used to have little 8 inch wheels, now we've upgraded to the 12 inch wheels, which make the trailer taller, um, make it sit a little higher. It doesn't look so silly being towed behind the Jeep with little 8 inch wheels now. Um, but because we did that, the ladder no longer reached because it, it raised the deck of the whole thing. So I had to build these extra extensions down here. So just some three quarter tube fit into the old one inch tube. And uh, I just threaded some eye bolts in there to hold it all. I can also use these to lag it down if we end up somewhere really windy. Um, on the tongue, we painted around the original nameplate. Uh, just, I don't know, thought it would be kind of neat to keep that. So it says on there, manufactured in 1990 somewhere. Date of manufacture, April 90. Uh, we also changed the coupler to a two inch coupler just because I already had two inch balls. It used to be a one and seven eighths. We added all of these leveler jacks all the way around. They're pretty handy. Um, makes it so that we can have it as a standalone trailer right now. It doesn't need to be hooked to the vehicle. It worked out perfect for today because we wouldn't have been able to have this site if we didn't do that. Um, what else can I say about this? We redid the fenders with rocker guard and then this strip along the bottom with rocker guard. Uh, lights used to be on the fenders. Moved them to the rear. Moved the license plate to the side here as well. It used to be on the tailgate right dead center so change that um, and then I added the drawer just uh, to make the cargo area easier to work with so we just got our clothes and I got some recovery gear in there um, spare parts and an air compressor inside the trailer is kind of neat too guy built this thing the same way a do-it-yourselfer like me might do it. This is just half-inch copper tube. The joint's all soldered, plumbing style. It's got some custom brackets down here with the copper tube flattened. Pretty, pretty neat. The windows open from the inside, which is cool. You get a good breeze in here. Um, although with it being canvas, uh, even on cool nights, it manages to stay pretty warm. This canvas is actually pretty good. And we added the ATV nets up here just to store our clothes because it's really tight in here. It's only 46 inches wide. So somewhere between a twin bed and a double bed. 
tight with two people and a dog. This is just some cheap thing we found just to put our phones or watches, any of that crap in. What else? Comes with this beautiful view. Yeah, it's pretty no frills. I don't know what else to really say about it. Oh yeah, we also changed to, what is this, three inch thick foam or four inch? I think we went with three, yeah. Three inch thick foam mattress, which is working out okay. Again, the deck, just plywood. Ladder, one inch tube, three quarter inch tube, welded together. Pretty basic bracket up here. It's pretty neat. Oh, we also added the straps too. This is like seat belt strapping. Put some bolts through the body. This is all plastic. Uh, put some bolts through the body. Banged in some uh, tarp eyelets. So when the shower cap, as we call it, it's basically like a heavy tarp that covers it and protects it from the rain and transportation. Throw the straps over so that the shower cap doesn't fall off, blow off. We got these buckles as well so the, the seatbelt strap comes through and clamp it. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, I, I redid all the wiring. Wiring was kind of done poorly, so I redid it. Yeah. So that's our little high and dry tent, camper, trailer, whatever you want to call it.